the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. But you're right, but that's why he said it don't do that. Because all you end up doing is worshiping the wrong thing. Yeah. He wants it's almost like he's trying to say, brothers, something that bow down to is the fact is when you bow down, I want you to think of me. Yeah, because I mean, just imagine when the situation happens or comes, God forbid. Yeah. You'll be looking for that image mm. instead of looking for the presence of God. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That Woo. image is what you'll be looking for. Wow. No, I, I want the presence of God. You know, the, I, I want the imageless. I want the I am that I am. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I, 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 that's what I want. That's what I want to be reaching toward. Not some mm. image of, of a person. Mm. I, you, I have to thought about that. Remember how many times you see it sometime in the movies or something, they hold on to, yeah. to to some image that's supposed to be in heaven. Wow. That's hey y'all, I don't know if y'all caught that, but that's that's important. It's not what you physically can hold. It's 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 what's in you. The scripture says, Great is he that's in you, the heat is in the world. Woo! We have we have studied that one day, bro. I don't know if you caught that, but that that's that's something to talk about. Go ahead. <laughs> Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, mm -hmm. nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, mm -hmm. visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children, and uh, um, upon the fathers, upon the children, mm -hmm. unto the third and fourth generations of them that hate me. Mm, mm, mm. That's mm. something. That is something. You 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 put a generational curse on your children. Multi generations. Multi generations. Yes, sir. Mm. Verse verse six. I like that yep. part. Look at it. Showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. And that's the key right there, to love him. That goes right back to those two great commandments, isn't it? Yeah, great commandments. To love to, come on, that, that, that's it. You know, so those are the first set. Let's see what the next one is. Because those could be two separate ones then, because I think the next one is honor uh, the Sabbath day or something. Oh, no, take the no. Name. Yeah, go ahead. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Mm. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Mm. That is interesting. And let's count that. How many of those were those then? Uh, before we get to the, the uh, remember the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day is one, right? We know that's one. So how many did we do so far? Okay. That's one, right? Thou shalt have no other God before him. That's one. Yep. Thou shalt make no graven image. We're going to go and go, go say that's two for right now, just to make yep. sure. Uh, thou shalt not bow down. That's three, three, right? And he went, oh, this is part of that one yeah. right there, right? Yeah. He says, that's three. All right. So the next one. We, we've done four. We've done four? Okay, yes. that's four. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord, okay. The Lord will not hold him guiltless mm -hmm. that taketh his name. That's four. Okay. Next Five one. Five is remember the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. Keep it holy. Mm -hmm. Six is six days shalt thou labor. Oh, this is a part of five. Yeah. And and do all thy works. But on the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Mm -hmm. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughters, thy manservants, nor thy maidservants, nor thy cattle, nor thy strangers that is within thy gates. Yeah, he's he's killing that one. Yeah. Yeah. For on the yeah. sixth day the Lord made heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. The sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day 
in the hollow there. You know, and the thing about that one is it look at the fact to us to say like those of us who work Monday through Friday, we consider that that day off. That's not, you know, that's Saturday is not a day of labor for the work that we do, I guess, to sustain ourselves. Uh, and then holy, don't forget the fact is he said, be holy, right? Yeah. He, he, he just said, be holy this one day. He said, be holy for uh, uh, every day, right? You know, so that's that's the one. That's a that's one that you. That's the nebulous one right there. But just, that's number what? Here's Jimmy. That's number what? Number, number five. That's five. Okay. Hey, good brother. We can, <laughs> hey, look, he got a background too. You see his face, and then you got his background in the back. <laughs> he's 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 trying to figure out how to work it. I think. Hey, glad to see you, brother. <laughs> All right, so we got six. We got well, how many got this so far? That's uh, is five that or six. Five. That's five. That was five. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think. I think. I think it's six. But let's see. All right. Next one. Because that's what I'm saying. We count. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. What's that? Okay. Father, thy father and thy mother, that the days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. And that'll be five then. I mean, that'd be six then, right? That'd be six. Okay, the honor father, and that's a check mark. Can you can you can yeah. check that one? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so the ones you which ones you you couldn't check? The only one was the nebulous was the Sabbath days, nothing else, right? Yeah. Hey, Jim. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys How you doing? Do? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Same. Happy New Year. Year. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> We're sitting there going over the fact is that the. Uh, we can't live by the, the commandments, but we can, those commandments are God realms and that we live by love and the grace and the mercy of God. In other words, we're not gonna work our way through heaven uh, to, to have to salvation. We receive salvation. Uh, and then we use the, the different commandments and everything as, as God realms, but we operate in the mercy and the grace of God as we move through, through our life. So the standards are there, but they're not, what we actually, the standards are there to t show us, hey, stand, stay within the rails, stay within the guidance of what God's will is, but operate under the mercy and the grace of God is what we're talking about. And we're just trying to say, Jimmy, that uh, we can we fulfill the commandments of God by the love of God and by this power and anointing of Christ. And what he was doing is going by and checking. You know, we went by, Thou shalt know the God before me. Most believe, all believers should be able to check that box. Correct? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So now we get, so now we're into, and we're also trying to count them too to see where they, where, the, where you know, the numbers. So right now, honor that father and mother, it should be, what you said, six? six from okay. Mom. I believe so. <laughs> okay. okay. Good. And, and the reason, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. But I'm thinking it because there, there's quite a few here that's going to be more than ten. <laughs> I tell what I'm trying to tell you. I think that, I think the image one, the key part is bowing down to those images and serving the image yes. is, is is what I'm thinking. Those two were combined together. We're talking about thou shalt not make it engraving images, and then the next one behind it said thou shalt not bow down and serve them. Sound like those are combined together who, who who came up with the ten commandments oh that's a good point <laughs> hey hey that who you talking there uh because there's I, more than ten here <laughs> you know what i'm saying i hear you i hear you we have to go back and check that out jim you know where the ten where the word ten number ten come from Oh, I thought that that's what God gave to Moses on the mountain. He gave him 10. I thought God gave him to Moses. He did. <laughs> what well, we're doing is reading. <laughs> yeah, we oh. just, we, we look, we're reading them and then we're counting them to say whether it is a, what did he ask the question where 10 came from? I, 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 I think it's in the scripture somewhere where it says 10, but we'll, we'll look that's that what up. I want. I'm trying to recall <laughs> that one right there. <laughs> I don't re really remember reading. These are the Ten Commandments. You know, I don't remember reading that. Well, that's, well, that's, I just remember 
the Ten Commandments, <laughs> you know, just like in this title. But yeah. Uh, yeah. I remember the movie. I, mean, but I, don't, movie. I don't remember reading. If if you could, if I could be wrong, <laughs> but I don't ever remember any any thing that said ten. God That's the, go, what, go give them these. Were they not ten? Were they not ten? He there's, says more right here. More. Yeah. There's more than ten. And we, we, can, we, we and we can that's something that could be discussed later. Well, main thing today, bro, as we wrap it up, what, yeah, what they are. <laughs> can, can, can we check? You know, the check piece, right? Yeah. Can, can we check these off? That's the key right now. So, go. What's the next one? <laughs> okay. Uh, thou shall not kill. Then you can check. Okay, first the honor of father and mother. You can check that box. Yeah. And that, you remember that there was a time when sometimes people do have problems with their parents, right? Oh, they're, they're, it's, well, it's the norm now. <laughs> it's the norm to not honor thy mother and thy father. Mm. It's just, it's I, from what I see, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Well, um, yeah. it, even to the point of the, these. Uh, these senior homes and stuff that that we put our put our our parents in, you know, is that honoring them or is that just getting them out of the way? Mm. You know what that's, I'm saying? Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I know. Living is that that is that honoring them or is that just getting that responsibility out of the way? That but, and that's that's a good there's point. Still, there's still a whole lot of other things, you know, where you just see. Uh, people just talking, just disrespecting their parents, you know, because they grown, you know, so-called mm -hmm. grown, and I'm a man now, or I'm a woman now, you don't you don't tell me what to do, or you gonna listen to me, or whatever. Exactly, but, uh, yeah. And we we taught that. go down yeah. to the kids that just go off on their they kids, don't, don't listen, don't care what mm -hmm. their parents say, but, but yeah, that, that's, yeah. uh, that's a combo that's a combination of how we're raising them and society yeah. Yeah. the news the media the schools yeah. they're not taught through things that they watch and listen to to honor parents they're given more rights that they can make decisions on their own without their parents intervention it's a whole conspiracy that's being taught to these kids from the time they get in schools and now to that they're independent and they don't have to listen so yeah. it's this it's it's um uh, it's it's everything. It's it's everything that goes on. Is the, the yeah. socialism, mm -hmm. the uh, the uh, the TV programs. Everything teaches them that it's not important to honor your parents. Exactly, and and uh, and just so technically, so what we're saying is, as a believer, we can do this. We know society. Yeah, you know, the devil's done. trying to. Yeah. So yeah. I could say it's it's a check that can be done. But like I said, it's daily. It's a daily walk. Yep. Uh, also, just to make sure before we, before we end, I have to wrap it up. Is the fact is Exodus thirty four twenty eight. You can just write that down, brother. Uh, Moses said he said, and he was there with the Lord for the, that's Joshua, I guess, and it. But it's Exodus thirty four twenty eight. Uh, he was there with the Lord forty days. That's Moses, and night. He did neither eat bread nor drink water, and he wrote upon the tablets or tables the word of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. So that's where the Ten Commandments came from. Uh, and a lot of this stuff is just common sense. I mean, it's not like you, like the Bible teaches, these things have been written on our hearts. Come yeah, on now. They're, they're, they're just part of who we are as, yeah. a, as a Christ, as a Christian, as a as a person that has believed in God, these are things that are just common sense. I mean, common sense. Yeah. I mean, it really is. I mean, who would speak against <laughs> honoring your mother and your father? I Come mean, on, right? Yeah, yeah, and that's what we're saying. Is Jimmy that when the the technically by love we can fulfill all these commandments, and like oh, you said, absolutely, th these are common sense things that God gave what 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 becomes gravy I call it the gravy is like the Leviticus or the Hebrews came up with 613 additional you know laws and then you know different ministries and different cultures come up with other little laws that they have that they that they add to it and puts people in condemnation of those 
Well, I'm, the focus I'm thinking today is just let people know, look, let's go with the basic first of what God asks us to do. And let's see if we can get these done daily. And if we can't get them done daily, work on them every day to try to get to that point. So that's why that's what we had uh, for today. And like I said, we can check that honor that father and mother oh, and yeah. we can we can don't let somebody condemn you because uh some people put people in the nurse like for example like what you just said brother addison about the nursing home some people do it because they don't have the uh capacity to to provide the care that maybe a nursing home gives of course people. it was just of a, course it was just a statement i know that i know that, yeah that, yeah how that works i mean my, i put my well i didn't not i but uh the hospital My there, really. Siblings, we had our, our mother and assisted living because, you know, everybody, it was hard. nobody lived yeah. in that town anymore. Exactly. And they don't want to leave either, you know, because they, 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 they got all their friends and everything else. And it's hard to sit there and, and uh, clean behind your parents. You know, if you had to clean up them and stuff like that, that's, that's hard. But love, you'll do it. But it's hard, though. Oh, yeah. Well, Very you know, hard. sometimes that part can be done, but sometimes they they require medical attention that we're not yeah. qualified to give qualified them. Qualified so to do it. In those yeah. cases, we don't have no choice. But you know, if we're going to live in a society of respect mm -hmm. and to have any kind of morality, then the Ten Commandments are something that has to be in place. You can take a look at them when they took it out of schools. And then you can look at the morality of the United States and decline if we end as far as morality is concerned. Mm -hmm. And you can see there's a correlation between those two. You know, I was listening to something just a couple of days ago and Russia was saying that their their program is complete, that they were feeding propaganda to the United States and that mm. the way to defeat the United States was to propagate them with immoral, immoral ways of living, to mm. really get them caught up in just no morality. And mm. they were saying that their program is complete, that America now is so immoral that mm. even if they started to live right now morally, Mm. It would take another 50 years to rid the immorality that's already been in place in America. So they're defeating America. And I know a lot of, a lot of you know, people don't believe in propaganda and a lot of conspiracy and stuff like that. They but, just... but we have to understand that uh, yeah. weaponry or weaponizing something mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily have to be a bullet or a bomb or a virus. Propaganda will kill more countries than anything else and America has become so immoral now in its thoughts and its practices with all types of sexuality things and, and disrespect for parents and beating the government and getting over and sued happy till our morality has declined to a level that we don't we're not gonna need anyone to defeat us. We're going to defeat ourselves. Well we're, we're it, already defeated. Let's just be honest. We we're defeated. We're, we're a defeated country because we, I mean, you just see, once you believe a lie over the truth, yeah. you're defeated. You and, and, that, and that's why I wanted to, and that's why I wanted to, I didn't mean to interrupt you, bro, because I knew I could have been going in a minute, but the, that's why I was saying, I said, is show people even today, and we can wrap it, do the next, you know, couple of days too, next sessions, is to show people, we can meet these requirements. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. These are not hard. Like Jimmy said, these are not hard to do. And, and it's, if we can, we can move away from the immoral things by doing focus on the moral things in the will of God. We can honor our father and mother. We can forgive them if they you got all against them and just learn to love them. So that's one of them. But and also we're talking about Jimmy, the tree is known by its fruit. Like you said, all the atrocities, and that's why you got some people trying to rewrite history, is because they know that it's ugly and someone want to kill to try to ignore it oppose the fact of dealing with it and and, and repent right that's the first thing christ said repent for the kingdom of heaven's at hand but let's because i don't have to wrap it up let's try to finish these commandments here okay so so you can check honor we, yeah. I, I, if somebody can't yeah. do that work on it that's the best we can do what's the what's what look at that's this one not kill that's easy it, that's yeah. easy <laughs> and yet we got people who did it right when you talk about the the this the slavery the lynching and all that other stuff uh, all that is showing you that is not operating in the will of god that's not operating under the commandments of god and yet we can do that and most of us do i think right live every day not trying to murder somebody <laughs> amen go ahead 
thou shalt not commit adultery. And that, that we can check that today. Do you know what I said, Jeremy? It, it's not so much of what we did yesterday. That's why we said that the Lord's prayer, right? Give us this day. That means yesterday is gone. Tomorrow is not promised this day. And what I want to be able to leave with some people understand this day, can you make, can you check that block? You know what I mean? And, 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 but as you said, that's a check, ain't it? Yeah. Well, you, that's but a you check. know, yeah, but unfortunately, oh, yeah. even our laws now, that these, what we're saying now, a lot of these things are legal. There are even religions out there that teach it. And you know, mm -hmm. polygyny or polygamy is big now. And even yeah. the Hebrew Israelites teach that you can have multiple wives. So mm -hmm. a lot of these things that we may see as common sense, because <laughs> we have a code of ethics, a code to live by, mm -hmm. now is actually legal. It's not illegal by, by law. And a lot of other religions begin to promote these kind of activities. So mm -hmm. some of these things you have to get from God. You yeah. can't get them from man. You yeah. have to get them from God. Seems, yeah. Does it seem right unto man? They think that it's okay. Exactly. Mindful things of man. That was that what he busted Peter out for, right? You're the mindful things of man, not of God. And but the key to it here is that we can check this because we don't we're not accepting that those like you said, like the, the polygamy and all those other things. We're saying is thou shalt not commit adultery. Yeah. And for a believer, they can say today, I'm not doing that. Yeah. That's the key to it. And I want people to understand you can feel good today knowing that you can fulfill these commandments every well, day I mean, we can, you can, you can te teach a whole message on this all week yes sir you know, because you know it goes back into serving other guys before yeah God. that's yeah. adultery yeah you know, Ooh, yeah spiritual uh, adultery uh, putting, yeah. putting anything above god is adultery mm -hmm. so Come i on, mean brother. there's just so much to this but just on the surface you know it's just an act a physical act of the flesh yes so, sir yes that 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 is a check you, that's it, a check well out. actually jesus said that uh it doesn't necessarily have to be a physical act yeah mm -hmm. in the heart yeah 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 exactly yeah and we're gonna, we're gonna correct it yeah well to, to that fact mm -hmm. you're gonna find it in sub verse 17. yeah it's it's, it's the covetous to covet something yeah to even but, think upon exactly yeah. this right here is the physical one yeah but you it's 17 well, jesus, jesus expand expounded on it because of uh, of man's thinking that they are righteous and he goes well let me really break it down to you <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly you thought about your neighbor's wife you know, you were committing adult. so yeah exactly yeah but it's definitely covered in 17. Yeah. Man's so, righteousness. so in the so. flesh you can check that yeah thou 15. shalt not steal Yep, come on. Yep. Check. You can check that's that. Easy. Yeah, now here's thou the one. Yeah. Go there. yeah, here's the thou, one right here. Thou shalt not belt false, bear false witness against thy neighbor. That's and easy that, to do. That's easy to do, but that's one of the biggest things that people do, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, man, with, with, with social media, man, is <laughs> <it's, Woo. laughs> You got the world as your neighbor, and, 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 and it's just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but, and that's uh, why we, that's what we got to work on. But that's that's definitely it can be done. That's yeah. the whole point. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now thou here's the. Not, oh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. This is a big one right here, seventeen. Yeah. Because I had to look that up. Cover thy neighbor's house. Mm. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife. Death nor adultery. his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor uh -huh. his ox, Woo. nor his ass, or <laughs> anything that is thy neighbor's come out and the covet is basically lusting towards right. somebody having a strong desire of something that does not belong to you mm -hmm. if you want to work for something similar to it fine but leave that man's wife alone leave that man's house alone leave that man's stuff alone yeah. uh and and that's that's where we have that covetous come from and i think that's where envy comes in that's where lust comes in Jimmy, that that's that's the stuff uh, that that is a challenge for a human being daily, as well. But it can't be well, checked. Go ahead. Yeah. Unfortunately, instead of supporting one another and uh, and uh, and uh, feeling great when someone achieves something, mm. and uh, and and trying to push other people to to do better in life, 
Mm-hmm. The whole world has become a competition. So yeah. now it's, we're competing against our neighbor. We're competing against our brothers, our sisters. I mean, we see what they got now. It's a competition. Everything is about a competition. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, how can you, you're going to have to cover because as soon as I see you with it, now I'm pissed off. And man, mm-hmm. so now I got to try to, you know, it's just, yeah. man, just whatever you're into, enjoy it. Hey, just because Myron has a boat, I don't want one. I don't fish. I don't like going out on the water. So mm-hmm. I'm not going to get a boat. I praise the fact that he got one. I'm sure they have a wonderful time with it. But he couldn't even invite me to go with him because I ain't getting out there on that water. <laughs> yeah. A, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he got to make sure that uh, it, it is clean and maintained. He'll tell you, though, it's good to have a boat. It's good out there on that water. But you got to maintain that boat. You yeah. got to keep that yeah. boat clean. Yeah. I mean, everybody just got to do just do you. I mean, <laughs> if that's what makes you happy. You know, I'm happy for you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that you're happy. Now, when you bring back some of that fish, drop Come some on. off my house. Yeah, yeah. Drop it all off. <laughs> Don't expect it to be clean, though. Right, you got to be clean it yourself. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> but but that, that, that's the whole point. And like I said, we, we, we wrapped it up with this one in Romans 8, 3, for what the law could not do, and that it was it is, that it was weak, and it is weak, through the flesh. God sent his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned, condemned sin in the flesh. And that's the creed that I wanted first to at least start off in a good talking point for even next week. And like you said, brothers, is we can fulfill these daily. And we get to work on them daily. And I think that's the whole point, Jimmy, is daily work on them. Because yeah, if the I thing mess about up it is, I'm sorry for interrupting you, sir. Go ahead. I'm just saying the point is that don't condemn yourself. We, we use the whole Romans 8, you know, verse 1 through 11, which said there's now no condemnation. Is to get off of the condemnation and get into the grace and the mercy of God so we can continue to work on those areas that we need to work on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, sir. So that 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 was it. That's that's the main thing I wanted to, to at least start off with a discussion. And, and Brother Asim was talking about what what uh what scriptures we can use to cover that i called brother addison this week about it i was like "Mm." because i talked to i talked to a young lady one of the persons in my office uh or came by one of the offices i used and i told her about you know through love and the mercy of grace you can walk not in condemnation but in victory because you're walking in grace and mercy you know what she said what you freed me you freed me. Yeah, yeah. Because so many Excellent. of us walk in condemnation. Well, you know, the thing about it is just like this right here. I always liken it to uh, training wheels on a bicycle mm-hmm. and at the Ten Commandments. In other words, it was a, it was just a schoolmaster. It was something to get me to the point where I could do it on my own. So you say, mm-hmm. now that I can ride a bicycle, do I need the training wheels? No, but I'm accomplishing everything the, com- the training wheels did for me. I'm mm-hmm. not falling over. I Come have on. perfect balance. Yes. I can keep upright. So I don't even have to think about the, the, the training wheels anymore. You don't even need to talk to me about the training wheels anymore because I'm past that. And yes. I'm automatically achieving that because of what the training wheels help me to accomplish and to achieve. Yes. I'm there now. So I don't have to ever think about the training wheels anymore because I'm already accomplishing all those things because of my ability to ride now. And the like level that. that I've come to. So the commandments the same way. It was just a training tool. They have to get me to understand some of the mindset and the thoughts I should have and some of the practices that I should engage in. Now mm-hmm. that I'm there, I don't need to talk or think about them no more. It's just part of my way of life. Hey Amen. That's an excellent that's an excellent parable, modern day parable right there. Mm-hmm. I have no question. Hey, but I'm gonna have to wrap it up. I have to get out and I have to uh, go to service with my wife, is what I'm getting ready to do. Uh, so God bless you now. If you if you want to keep talking, you can, Brother Addison. But yeah, I, I want to talk to I want to talk to Brother Hill. I've been trying to reach out to him for for quite some time. Amen. Well, I'm gonna let y'all go ahead, and uh, I'm gonna just uh, get on out of here. And you could just once you leave, just in the in a, well. Oh yeah, kinda, I know how to, I know how to hit that red button over there. Okay, <laughs> bro. All right. Hey, y'all be blessed. All right, All right cool. <laughs> This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.